in progress. Time now for our HP Halftime Show. For the Phoenix Suns, they have the lead against New Jersey. A superb team on the offensive end. They've been in peak form so far. Leading the game in scoring, Grant Hill. He's beginning to exert his will on the game. I mean, he's taken over. And the Nets going all out. They've been putting a lot of defensive pressure on the other team, taking care of the Rock offensively. Fundamental basketball, both sides of the court. Darren Williams has been productive. His shooting percentage is right at the 60 mark. He is feeling it tonight. These two have set the benchmark so far tonight, leading their teams in first half scoring. That's going to do it for us here in the studio. We'll send you back to Kevin Harland and the crew for the second half call. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Here is Williams. Now the Suns missed out on the playoffs for only the fourth time in the last 23 years last season. And with the team getting older and no outstanding young players, it may be a while before Phoenix returns to prominence. Dudley and Hill at the two and the three. Marky Morris is out there with Gortat, and it's Nash in at the point. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Good foul. Make him earn the free throws. Don't let this team dunk. I like that. That's a smart foul. I mean, it's a lot easier to dunk it than it is to hit two free throws. Make them earn them at the strike. And, you know, for the Suns, Clark, what do you think is their best path for them right now? Could they bounce back to where they were, you think? Um, in the short term, Kevin, I, I, I'd have to say no. I mean, it's, this team a few years ago had a legitimate chance to win a title. I mean, now the talent level has dropped off, and we know you start right there. I mean, you've got to have talent to to, to think about a championship and it's easy to see why the word rebuild kind of floats around. I think that takes time and that's where the Suns are right now. For so long they've been looking for a center. Now they got Lopez, they got Gorchak, but they don't have anything around them. Or at least things that they're really building it just, toward. It just reminds you of how hard it is yeah, to it get is. the pieces yeah. together yeah. to play at a high level First and have a chance to compete for and pursue a championship. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, Kevin. Well, Avery Johnson tried to bring a tough approach to the New Jersey Nets. He instilled a, quote, no layups mentality aimed a bit at Brook Lopez. While installing this, quote, no layups policy during a film review session, Avery Johnson, quote, according to Lopez, was practically looking at me. Message delivered, guys. Thank you, Doris. We wouldn't expect anything less from the little gem. Well, I think that's why Avery Johnson was hired. He changed the culture. He's not afraid to, to call guys out. And let's face it, this is a team that needs to get tougher, and Johnson is going to make sure that happens. Here's Wallace looking for his first bucket of the game. Just four to shoot. The three is launched. Johnson can't hit. Good solid defense on the perimeter there. Challenging the shot and not fouling. Even the best shooters can be bothered by his defense. Gortat with a screen on Williams. Here's Nash. Chris Humphreys comes up with the rebound. Humphreys has got three rebounds so far in the game. You know, one of the things I love about Steve Nash, although he is right-handed, he loves to use that little pull-up jumper he has when he's going to his left. He's pretty ambidextrous, and I think that goes back to all the time he spent playing soccer. He's mm. equally balanced on both sides of his Point. body, and I see that with a lot of soccer players. And the ball goes out of play and able to keep it in. And New Jersey making some changes. Sheldon Williams checks in for Humphreys, and it's Damian James in for Gerald Wallace. Damian James. Here's Nash. <laughs> On its way from Dudley for two. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got four assists in the game. That's a great point you talk about in that pull-up jumper of Nash and being able to go either way, use either hand. Uh, Steve, you know he can, he can pick teams apart with that. Well, he can do whatever he wants on the floor, Kevin. And what I like best about him is that he just reads the situation each game. And if, it, if his team needs him to score, he'll score. If not, he'll distribute. Uh, but he's so skilled, there's not anything that he can't do on the floor. 
Goes up. And that one's good by Gortat. Gortat's got his second basket. It's been a complete game for him, hasn't it? Yep, I agree with you there. I mean, he's been in the middle of everything going on. Johnson draws it up. Williams. Guarded now by Nash. Funny shot. Gets the bucket. Williams has got his first bucket in this one. What a marvelous job they've done of sharing the basketball. A ton of assists. Well, they know where each other is all the time. They're moving the ball, just finding the open guy. Nobody seems to care who scores. Williams against Nash. Four on the clock over Williams. Nash's shot is off. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over. Well, oh, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Williams missing again. Suns leading by six. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Nash, Nash, Nash. Hill passes to Dudley. He feeds it to Nash. Gord's out with a screen on Williams. Got a piece of it. Taken away by Williams. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. Nice movement. Here's Johnson. Lifts up. And Lopez throws it down hard. You know, the dunks are few and far between for the big guy, but every once in a while, we get one just like that. It's not hard to believe that kind of size might keep you from being a high fly. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of man right there to try to get up off the ground, Kevin. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the... So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark. Doris, take it away. Well, Kev, the Suns come away with the Sprite Spark. It looks to be one of those games where everything falls their way, and if they can keep catching the breaks, they'll be able to ride this one out for the win. And thanks for that story, Doris. So with Johnson sitting on the bench, here's who Avery Johnson's going with. Humphreys is at the four with Brooke Lopez in the middle. Brooks is out there with Farmar, and it's Wallace in at the three, the small forward. Now Farmar. The Nets need to get a shot off here. And unable to corral the miss, and it goes out of play. Here's Nash. Now here's Dudley, Hill, Wallace covering. Nash kicks to Hill, takes a three, offensive rebound. Nash with it. The three from Dudley, good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got assist number five here tonight. Here's Farmar. Clark, they're looking now at a sizable deficit. Yeah, you know, they've got a lot of work ahead of them, but no reason to give up hope right now. No, the game's still out there for them, but they've got to get back to their game plan and start to grind out each possession. So for the Nets, Johnson comes in for Brooke Lopez. Darren Williams is subbed in for Jordan Farmar. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I was able to listen in on what Avery Johnson was going over with his team. He told them, hey, they're running the break on us, so let's give them a taste of their own medicine. Let's run them ragged. The tempo should be up, guys, and this could get interesting. Joe Johnson on the way. He's guarded by Dudley. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the high post. Williams can't get it to go. Suns leading by nine. Morris kicks it over to Nash. Now, here is Morris. Covered by Humphreys. Nash outside. Gord's out with a screen on Johnson. Humphreys with the steal. Kevin, he didn't turn the ball over once in the first half, but it's been a different story for him since the break. Aggressive transition game leads to the easy hoop. Yeah, I love to see these guys just trampolining to the hoop. Shot from free throw range. Again, missing Hill. 
And that's not really his range. Has a tough time in that mid-range area. Here's Johnson. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. Points in the paint have been the main course or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Now well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. Hill kicks to Morris. Humphreys with the steal. And now they need a stop if they want to hang on to this lead. That was a bad giveaway there. That's good. Now it's just a three-point Suns lead. Now they may have to climb on his back to get back into this game. Less than one minute left. Nash against Williams. Eight away. Good. Timeout call for Nets. They trailed by five. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mark Lopez is checked in for Brooks. Here's Williams. And here is Johnson. Back to Williams. Guarded now by Nash. Johnson against Dudley. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. Smart foul there. Make him earn those two free throws instead of giving up an easy dunk. Yeah, and he's not a strong free throw shooter. I mean, with his percentage, he's likely to miss one, so that's a good heads-up play. Well, those were some big free throws, but he calmly knocked them down, and it's a one-possession ball game now. And that's an intentional foul. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Sinks the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Gets them both, and it's a five-point ball game. Well, he's unflappable. He calmly nets his free throws, and it's a two-possession ball game. Nash against Williams. Connects! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And this continues to be a shootout. Well, I'm a fan as well as a commentator, and I love this fast-paced action. I mean, it's going back and forth, back and forth. Perfect from the line, and it's a five-point ball game. And that'll do it, Kevin. Those last three throws were the icing on the cake. Now a timeout call by New Jersey. They're losing by five. There's ten seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? And I'm sure they're discussing who they'd like to foul here after they can get a quick bucket, hopefully. Honestly, Steve, they may not have enough time to be choosy. They just have to get a quick foul. Very easy call to make. There's uh, no question contact on that shot. Now, you know, you can allow a little contact, but not quite that much. And both free throws good for Williams. Big free throws, Kevin. Now they'll need a three to just stay alive. Timeout call for Suns. Here's Dudley. Can't connect. So it's the Suns taking the W in a close one. Well, they don't get much more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. And when it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. 